Hey designers, in today's video, we'll be creating this cool paper moving effect in After Effects. First, we need to import our background. Once that's done, drag and drop it onto the timeline. Next, we'll create a new composition and bring in our paper asset. This should be a transparent PNG of a piece of paper. Drag it onto the timeline, and if it looks too large, resize it to fit your composition. Select the paper layer and press R to reveal the rotation settings. Click on the stopwatch next to rotation to create your first keyframe. Move the playhead forward a few frames and set the rotation value to three full rounds. And there you go, you've got a smooth rotation animation. Switch back to your main composition, Composition 1, and drag Composition 2, the one with the rotating paper, on top of the background. Select Composition 2, press P to reveal the position settings, and click the stopwatch to create your first keyframe. Move the playhead forward about a second and add a new keyframe here. Now, return to the first frame and move the paper completely out of the frame. To make the paper move dynamically, move the playhead forward again and adjust the position, move it to the top, left, right, or wherever you like. Keep creating keyframes as you go, varying the movement to make it more natural. Once your position keyframes are ready, let's smooth things out. Select all the position keyframes, right-click on one of them, and choose Keyframe Interpolation. Set both interpolation options to continuous bezier and click OK. Now comes the fun part. You can adjust the curves of the motion path to make the movements feel more fluid. Click on each keyframe and tweak the handles to curve the corners. Keep refining until the motion looks just right. Once all the keyframes are set and adjusted, let's take a moment to review how the animation looks so far. Make sure everything flows smoothly before moving to the next step. Now, let's add some depth to this animation. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for CC Cylinder. Apply the CC Cylinder effect to this composition. Next, we'll work with the rotation properties. Move the playhead to the first frame and click on the stopwatch next to rotation Y to create a keyframe. Then, move the playhead to the last frame and set the rotation Y value to give it two or three full rotations. Preview the animation, and there you have it. A dynamic and realistic flying paper effect. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and picked up something new along the way. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like this video, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Ace Design for more creative content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.